Well, Randy, we're going to take that 3,800 pound sky needle, 90 foot tower, and mount it on those four bolts on the concrete. And then uh, when that gets up, we're going to rig up the uh, we're going to rig up the work platform here. And then once we get the work platform on, we're going to take that uh, DB36 and put it up on the mast. All right, this tower base is six by six by eight foot deep, 12 yards of concrete with fiber. The Tomcat uh, welding and fabrication built a real nice cage, uh, one inch rebar, 25 by 25 to match up with the base cage that goes eight foot down into this concrete. And uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, this is the ground system here. My K7STL built this box and helped me out. Uh, we've got a heavy duty copper bar here with a spare lightning arrestor and the lightning arrestor that the LMR600 uh, travels through, as you can see the RF. And we've got a ground system here attached to it. And we have a ground rods in the whole circumference of this uh, base. And uh, the ground rods are all tied together, come up into here and will be tied to this number two seven strand copper that will be attached directly to the tower leg. All right, so what we have here is a work platform that comes with the sky needle and the ladder is on one side that you climb to access it and the work platform bolts up to the side of the tower on the opposite side. Yeah, I think both of them. Yeah, I'll Hi there, my name's Taylor. We'll be doing this pick today. It weighs about 3,800 pounds. We'll be using a boom truck for that. Okay, Randy, we're going to take uh, these three 1 and 3 16 bolts after we get the uh, tower perfectly erect and we're going to, uh, the crane's going to move it over to the pad here and once we find one of those holes lined up, the holes are slightly larger on this base. This is a 1 and uh, 1 and 3 8 plate by 25 square and we'll pop a, one of these bolts into here. Once we find that sweet spot, we're going to turn it so that we get all four bolts bolted down and torque it in.
DB36 is a very high performance four element antenna utilizing the 50 foot long main driver. Here's the control box, the connectorizer box. And you plug in the, uh, the connections for the uh, control box and what what it consists of is basically just all electronic circuitry and this box also this antenna is equipped with the 80 meter option here which uh, switches the dipole here that runs along parallel to the boom and also connects into the director and the reflector elements to tune all across the 80 meter band. We'll be putting these blocks on these heavy duty stainless steel bolts and blocks to mount this plate onto the mast over there on the top of the tower. Uh, as an extremely high performance antenna, uh, 7.4 dB gain on 40, 1.8 dB gain on 80, and double digits on all the other bands. What we did is we drilled out the plate the boom to mast plate so that when we put it on the mast we can drill out the mast and pin it in two spots as an added insurance so that the boom will not twist on the mast. Okay this is the 50 foot long high performance driving element that really integrates the whole antenna and makes it happen. It, uh, this antenna is extremely high performance. I gotta say it will it will rival any monobander on 40 and uh, not too bad on 80 either. Like I said, 1.8 dB gain on 80 and covers all the bands through six meters. Here is a Dayton one and a half horse 220 motor gearbox. It's a five to one ratio. And uh, my K7STO built a nice, can plug the generator in here, power for the 220, and build a electronic box for the up and down switch and cutout switches for the uh, limiter.